hello very good morning friends so dear friends we are discussing uh, the food preservative part of our food analysis today we are going to see the benzoic acid as a preservative okay the structure of benzoic acid is shown here okay it is a aromatic acid aromatic carboxylic acid having a phenyl ring and cooh that is carboxylic acid functional group is attached to the phenyl ring okay it is used as a preservative in the form of either calcium sodium or potassium salt okay and it is it, it retards or it checks the growth of yeast and molds okay so it is also acting as a bactericide and fungicide so that's why this benzoic acid is uh, used as a uh, preservative in different food products now the determination of food sample determination of benzoic acid which is used as a preservative in food samples can be done like this so take a food sample then acidify that food sample with dilute hso4 and saturate it with the salt okay then extract that uh, carboxylic acid that is benzoic acid with ether or ether hexane mixture in 3 as to 1 proportion uh, in above solution so this aqueous sulfuric acid containing food sample is a aqueous phase and the organic phase is ether hexane mixture in 3 as to 1 proportion okay you have to extract it okay then collect all the ether extracts we generally do the ether extraction in 3 to 4 times okay you have to collect all these three uh, ether extracts in a container Uh, such as a big beaker and uh, purify that ether extract uh, by shaking it with the uh, dilute sodium hydroxide solution okay so sodium hydroxide solution can be used for the uh, purification of uh, that uh, ether extraction of that benzoic acid okay then uh, heat the alkaline solution at 60 degree celsius with permanganate solution to remove interfering acids so whatever the interfering acids present in the uh, that alkaline solution okay uh, that are um, oxidized by permanganate solution at 60 degree celsius okay then acidify that aqueous solution after acidifying you will get a solid res or residue will you will get a solid form or residue form of that Uh, benzoic acid present in that uh, uh, your food sample okay then remove that solvent by gentle heating okay the solvent is generally ether or hexane so it's at as a low boiling point so by just uh, low heating at a low flame you have to remove that solvent then dissolve the obtained residue in 2 ml acetone and 2 ml water okay and titrate this mixture okay containing acetone water and your benzoic acid residue obtained by uh, this procedure okay titrate it with 0.05 molar naoh uh, 1 ml the calculation is like that 1 ml of 0.05 molar naoh is equivalent to 0.0061 benzoic acid okay so from this we can calculate the uh, benzoic acid present in the food products or food stuffs this benzoic acid can also be uh, estimated by using uv spectrophotometry by dissolving it in ethanol but by using this method the amount of benzoic acid determined is very less okay so that's why titrometric analysis that we have discussed here earlier okay the first direct method is generally used then the next uh, preservative food preservative is parabens the parabens are nothing but 4 hydroxy or para hydroxy benzoic benzoic acid esters okay so the esters of para hydroxy benzoic acid or 4 hydroxy benzoic acids are known as parabens and these esters are generally alkyl esters including methyl ethyl propyl uh, butyl and amyl esters okay amyl means c5 carbon chain okay carbon chain containing five carbon atoms is known as amyl and these alkyl esters of para hydroxy benzoic acids are known as parabens hmm? 
the antimicrobial activity of these four hydroxy benzoic benzoates increases with length of the alkyl chain up to amyl ester so as the alkyl chain alkyl side chain in the uh, these uh, esters is increasing up to the amyl group that is c5 carbon chain the antimicro antimicrobial activity of this parabens is going to increase here the reagents required for this uh, determination of parabens are only two and first one is dilute sulfuric acid and the second one is uh, denings denings reagent okay how to prepare that denings reagent it is given like that dissolve uh, 5 gram of that mercuric oxide 5 gram of mercuric oxide is dissolved in 20 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid uh, and uh, dilute it to 100 ml using distilled water okay then method for the flow method for the determination of that parabens is given okay i had i prepared it flow chart by remembering this flow chart you will be able to uh, recall and remember uh, the method required for the determination of parabens okay so take 2 gram of sample then add 60 ml of water at 50 degree celsius adjust the ph to 7.5 uh, with naos solution okay so it is alkaline ph you have to adjust it with the sodium hydroxide solution then heat at 50 degree celsius then stir it properly add 2 ml of potassium ferrocyanide solution which is a 15 percent solution then mix the contents then add 2 ml of zinc sulfate solution uh, which is a 30 percent solution then dilute to 100 ml then <clears throat> set aside for 30 minutes okay so you have to keep this diluted solution for 30 minutes uh, apart or aside okay then filter this solution take 50 ml of filtrate that we have filtered earlier take this 50 ml filtrate then add 1 ml of sulfuric acid extract this with 3 by 50 ml of diethyl ether okay you have to do extraction with diethyl ether three times for each time you have to use 50 ml of this diethyl ether then wash the extracts diethyl ether extracts with water then add one drop of phenolphthalein indicator solution and shake with 3 ml of 0.25 molar NaOH solution okay then combine the alkaline extracts heat in boiling water uh, both to remove ether okay uh, sorry heat the Heat the alkaline extracts in boiling water bath to remove ether. Okay, so ether is a you know, low boiling solvent. You have to use your boiling water bath. Do not heat directly. Okay, and then cool it. Dilute with the water uh, to 10 ml. Then To this 5 ml of this solution, add 5 ml of uh, denized reagent, then heat it, the, heat it, again cool it, add 5 drops of sodium nitrate solution and allow to stand for 45 minutes. Okay, then pink color will be obtained, uh, produced, and um, when this pink color is produced, measure the absorbance at 118 nanometer wavelength. Okay, this is the lambda max. Dissolve 50, 100, 200, 400 and 600 microgram of this ester in 3 ml of 0.25 molar NaOH. Okay. Make the solution up to 5 ml solution by addition of water. Then carry out the above method that we have mentioned here. From add, add 5 ml denized reagent. Okay. From this, from this step, you have to carry out this method again and prepare a calibration curve. Okay. So, this method is given for the estimation of parabens that is uh, alkyl esters of 4 hydroxy or para hydroxy benzoic acid okay so in this way we have uh, completed here the preservatives that is uh, benzoic acid and 4 hydroxy para benzoic acid that is parabens okay thank you for watching this video have a nice day